A Shalom Akiam Wa'akwath of the elect of the nation of Israel. Welcome back to another lesson entitled Ethnos can also mean Israelite in Romans the third chapter and the 29th verse proper context and history. Let's go real quick into the book of Romans 3 and 29. It says is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. Now that word Gentile, in the proper context of Romans 3 and 29, that's where you get the word ethnos. Strong's G, 1484, ethnos, ethnos. So before we go any further, we give all praises to Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Rakahakwadash, and double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which are the men that taught me the 100% truth according to the Holy Scriptures. Now, I just want to speak about an incident that happened at camp uh, on Saturday. Okay, we had a uh, camp session. And there was this uh, very ignorant, okay, um, I'll call him a heathen, okay, because a lot of our people who who try to, uh, you know, replace the proper doctrine, okay, you have a word known as uh, replacement theology. A lot of our people try, you know, to replace Yahweh, okay, the, the true power of the Holy Scriptures, with a different power, okay, and that, that power is the power of Esau, Edom, Idumia, okay, our people are trying to replace, you know, the uh, proper context of Yahweh, Shemel, Shai, into their own understanding, matter of fact, let me get that precept, lean not into your own understanding, this is the book of Proverbs 3 and 5, it reads, trust in Yahweh, with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. You see, a lot of our people are leaning into their own understanding. For example, again, there was an incident. Okay, uh, yeah, there's a, a, a Esachrite. I wouldn't even call him Esachrite. He's, he's most likely a heathen. And when I say heathen, I just mean, you know, an, an Israelite, you know, who, who doesn't believe that his legacy, his heritage, you know, goes back to the 12 tribes of Israel. So you had this, uh, this Mexican, okay, um, that came to the camp, you know, and tried to, uh, you know, so-called debate, so-called, you know, try to uh, save pretty much the other nations, man. He's trying to save, you know, everybody, you know, God loves everybody, you know, God came of. Uh, you know, for the Gentiles also, and he brought out Romans 3 and 29, okay, to uh, justify that the God of the Bible, he's only the God, not only of the Jews, okay, which Jews is uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, the southern kingdom, hey, but also collectively, man, you know, the Jews also represent the northern kingdom, because the northern kingdom, like it tells you in uh, Genesis 49, about Judah, okay, uh, thou art whom thy brethren shall praise. So collective, collectively, man, even the northern kingdom were also Jews, okay. Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. And when we asked this uh, ignorant, okay, uh, uh, Jake, he didn't know the... Uh, the Greek, okay, the scriptures speak about study to show yourself approved. Now, in camp, we brought out that there's uh, two meanings in the word Gentile. It's Hellenized or Hellenistic and also ethnos. You see, and ethnos can also apply to an Israelite. Okay, not necessarily, for example, you might read and was in Matthew, Matthew 10 and 5, it says, These twelve 
Yahweh sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Sumerians, enter ye not. You see, the, now those Gentiles that Yahweh spoke about in Matthew 10 and 5, now that's literally speaking about the heathen, okay? Because hey, even amongst even amongst the heathen, okay, uh, you know, you're going to have Jake, you know, Israelite foreigners, but even scatter abroad, okay? Even when you go into the history of, uh, you know, our ancient forefathers, hey, even in Israel, there was uh, actual heathens. When I speak about a heathen, I'm speaking about those who are not of the stock of Israel, those who are not, okay, out of the seed line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's why Yahweh Shai told his disciples, go not into the way of the Gentiles, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, you see, and that's pretty much the whole purpose why us brothers, okay, we are in the highways and hedges to go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel and tell them that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai is at hand. Now, real quick prophecy where it says, Matthew 26, go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Let's get a prophecy. This is the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah 50 and 6. My people hath been lost sheep. You see that? My people hath been lost sheep. And who's the sheep? We just read that in Matthew 10 and 6. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. That was a prophecy in Jeremiah 50 and 6. The Lord said that his people are lost sheep. A sheep is synonymous to the house of Israel. They're shepherds have caused them to go astray they have turned them away on the mountains they have gone from mountain to hill they have forgotten their resting place yeah they have forgotten Yahweh so going back to Romans 3 and 29 is he the God of the Jews only is he not also of the Gentiles yes of the Gentiles also. So you have ignorant Israelites, man. You know, especially our people who, you know, uh, love the doctrine of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, thinking that these Gentiles, man, are the other nations, not understanding, okay, the, the history behind why Apostle Paul, you know, uh, spoke in the uh, context of not only is Yahweh the God of uh, Judah, you know, Judah, uh, Benjamin, and Levi, but he's also the God, the power of the Gentiles, okay, ethnos, so let's get the history, man, why our people were being called ethnos, okay, now again, that word ethnos, that's where you get the word ethnicity, see that ethnicity, so let's get that real quick and get the history of why our people were known as ethnos as well it says gentile strong's g 1484 ethnos ethnos it says probably from g 1486 a race as of the same habit a tribe especially a foreign or foreigner a non-Jew, one usually by implication a pagan, a Gentile, a heathen nation, a people. Now again, we I gave the example in Matthew the uh, tenth chapter, where Yahweh Shai said, "Go not into the way of the Gentile." Now those Gentiles, when you read the proper context, when you understand history, when you understand prophecy, those are actually pagan. Okay, heathens, meaning they're not of Israel. Okay, they're either a Moab, Ammon, okay, Esau, um, you know, Amalek. Those are the original heathens. 
But now again, it says a race, a tribe, a foreign, a non-Jew. Yeah, and our people were known as non-Jews. It says the human family, right? A tribe, a people or a group. Yeah, and, and these groups of Gentiles, okay, were the ones that Paul went to go preach. On circumcision. Let's get that. This is a book of uh, Galatians 2. 2 and 7. But contrawise, when they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto me. Yeah, so Paul's job, okay, was to go to the uh, Israelites of the uns uncircumcision, meaning those that were following the ways of the heathen, following the uh, traditions of the Greeks. You see, that's why they were known as uh, as the Grecians, the Greeks, was committed unto me as the gospel of the circumcision was unto Peter. Now, Galatians 2 and 6, let's get that in the uh, blue letter Bible. Let's get that. This is a book of Galatians to better understand what it means, you know, of uh, circumcision and uncircumcision. Real quick, Romans 3 and 30, next verse, it says, seeing it is one, it is one power, one God, which shall justify their circumcision by faith and uncircumcision through faith. You see, so it's funny because you have this uh, ignorant, ignorant jig, man, that, uh, you know, he saw this in the flesh. He saw, you know, uh, circumcision, you know, the word circumcision as a physical way of saying, you know, uh, according to the law, you know, I believe it's after the, uh, the eighth day when you're born, you know, you got to have the uh, foreskin of your, uh, of your, uh, 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 your rod. Okay, it has to be uh, cut off, man. You see, not understanding that, you know, uh, spiritually, man, the uh, circumcision by faith and the uncircumcision through faith. Okay, that's speaking about, okay, uh, Jews, okay, Israelites who know that they're Israelites who keep the laws, man. And the uncircumcision are those Gentiles in the previous verse. Okay, those uh, so-called ethnos who don't know any better okay you know getting tatted you know get, getting getting tattoos you know just just bugged out man so let's get that galatians uh two what was that two and seven galatians two and and seven it says but contrawise when they saw that the gospel right the good news of the uncircumcision was committed unto me as the gospel of the circumcision was unto Peter. For for he that wrought effectually in Peter to the apostleship of the circumcision, the same was mighty in me toward the Gentiles. So, man, if, if you have the proper spiritual eyes, man, see Apostle Paul, he rephrased verse 7, also in verse 8, okay, but contrawise, when they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto me. So that was Paul's uh, job. That was his uh, responsibility to go to those who were uncircumcised, okay, not literally, you know, in the flesh according to the law. But when you study that word again, uncircumcision, those who know. Who don't know that they're Israelites, man. For he that wrought effectually in Peter to the apostleship of their circumcision. The same was mighty in me toward the Gentiles. Now that word Gentile, again, it says, well, ethnos. The same word that you read in Romans, the third chapter. But now real quick, let's see what it means. The uncircumcision. It says... Acrobistia. 
Strong's G203, Akrabustia, Akrabustia. This is what? Having the foreskin uncircumcised, you see, and that's what this ignorant Jake thought. Okay, um, that's what it meant, okay? He, he thought about, oh, yeah, you know, um, you know, if, if you're not, if, if your uh, foreskin is not, you know, circumcised, you know, you, you cannot be in uh, an Israelite. You know, you're seeing some bug out stuff, not knowing that it's, it's a whole, okay, metaphor, okay, or symbolism that those who are uns uncircumcised, that's what it means to be a, a Gentile, you see? And that whole history of our people being a, a Gentiles, that's in prophecy, man. There's the book of Ezekiel. Okay, Ezekiel 3 or Ezekiel 20. And I'll start at Ezekiel 20. Give me a second. And 30. It says, Wherefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord, Are ye polluted after the manner of your fathers, and commit ye whoredom after their abominations? Verse 31. For when ye offer your gifts, when ye make your sons to pass through the fire, ye pollute yourselves. And that's what made our people Gentiles, man. You know, polluting yourselves, okay, uh, you know, having the frequency, the, the energy of the heathen with all your idols, even unto this day. And shall I be inquired of, of by you, O house of Israel? As I live, saith the Lord, I will not be inquired of, of by you. Verse 32, and that which cometh into your mind, so the uncircumcision, man, you know, our people who are ignorant, this is their mindset. That ye say, we will be as the heathen. You see that? We will be as the heathen. And that's the mindset of our people. Okay, that's where you get the whole concept of the Gentiles. Okay, the Gentiles, the ethnos. Like it says in the title. Ethnos can also mean. Can sometimes mean Israelite okay see that's why a hey, the scriptures speak about a hey, study to show yourself approved man real quick let me get a precept it's the book of to their own destruction because a lot of you jakes man that are trying to replace the proper doctrine, man, of uh, of the scriptures. Hey, that's that's a uh, that's a shame unto you. This is Second Peter three sixteen, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood. Yeah, and that word ethnos, man, that word Gentile, throws a lot of people off, man. That's things that are very hard to understand. It's very difficult to understand the word Gentile if you don't understand the history. Okay, you don't understand prophecy of why Israelites were called ethnos or were called Hellenized, were called Gentiles. You see, in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned, you see that like that ignorant Jake man that came to the camp. He is unlearned and unstable. Rest as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. So a lot of you Jakes, men who are unlearned and unstable that don't understand prophecy, history. You just think that with, you know, one scripture, you're going to have the whole, you know, proper understanding of why Paul went to go preach to those uh, Gentiles. Okay. That's for your own destruction. I mean, a lot of our people who are 
trying to replace Yahweh Bash Mel Shai's doctrine, man. Okay, they're they're on for a, a rude awakening, man. You see that? But real quick, going back, Ezekiel 20 and 32, and that which cometh into your mind shall not be at all. That you say we will be as the heathen. You see that we will be as the Gentiles, we will be as the pagans, as the families of the countries. To serve wood and stone. And that's what our people are doing still to this day, man. They're serving wood and stone. As I live, saith the Lord, surely with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out, will I rule over you. And I will bring you out from the people. Okay, and who are those people? A hey, The heathen. And will gather you out of the countries where ye are scattered with a mighty hand and with a stretch out arm and with fury poured out. And not only is the Lord going to come in and save, you know, the scattered uh, Israelites who repent, okay, the elect, but he's also going to gather, okay, the uh, non-elect, man, he's going to uh, appear, okay, or pour, okay, that mighty fire upon Okay, those are uh, Jakes that teach that Romans 3 and 29 is speaking about, okay, those are uh, uh, Gentiles. Okay, uh, you know, everybody, you know, God loves everybody, man. That's not the uh, proper understanding of Romans 3 and 29. Again, it says a people or a group and that people or group, okay, are those, uh, those Christians that Paul, used as a term like it says here paul uses the term for gentile christians you see and the first christians okay they were called um uh, the anointed anointing okay during the time of uh, antioch it says in the ot foreign nations not worshiping the true god pagans the gentiles you see and and that applies to our people okay who don't want to accept this doctrine, they're still like unto a pagan, a Gentile. This is the book of Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen. Yeah, what are examples of the way of the heathen? Uh, celebrating pagan holidays, following a whole different lifestyle, not according to the scriptures, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. So going back to the word Gentile. It says. A heathen. A people. This is ethnos. It says what? Ethnic group. Or ethnicity is a grouping of people. Who identify with each other. On the basis of of sure attributes that distinguish them from other groups those attributes can include common sets of traditions ancestry language you see our people during the time of apostle paul a still to this day man okay we speak a, a different language okay we have a a, a history you know of, of the heathens okay you read the history of jake man you know, Jake has been following the traditions, okay, of the uh, the pagans, society, culture, nation, religion, or social treatment within the residing area. Ethnicity is sometimes used interchangeably with the term nation, particularly in cases of ethnic nationalism, and is separate from the related concept of races. You see? So a ethnos can also mean, okay, or can sometimes mean an Israelite. So let's go real quick in the book of Maccabees. Maccabees, uh, first Maccabees one. And and forty one it says moreover King An King Antio Antiochus 
wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. Yeah, this was during the time of the uh, the Grecian uh, rulership. Okay, and, and those Grecians, okay, those were, you know, you study history, the original Grecians, they were the uh, Japhetic, the Japhetic people. Okay, but, uh, you know, uh, fast for forward to the time of the Maccabees around, what was it, around uh, uh, one, late 100 BC, you know, around 300 BC. Okay, those, Gre those Grecians were Edomites, you know, when they started conquering you know, the, uh, the various other heathen nations, but also, okay, they were uh, conquering, okay, primarily the uh, southern kingdom. So First Maccabees 141, moreover, King Antiochus, or Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all, that all should be one people, you see? And that's where you get the whole concept of one group, one ethnicity. It says, and everyone should leave his laws. You see that? So you had Jakes during the time of the Maccabees, during the time of the uh, Grecian Empire, okay, that were following the laws. Okay, they were following the, the customs of our forefathers. But this devil, you know, made a decree that, that everyone should leave his laws, his beliefs, okay, uh, meaning leave the truth. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yeah, many also of the Israelites, you see that? So you had a lot of Jakes, you know, majority of them, who, hey, they bow down to the image of Baal, okay, to the lifestyle, the reflection of Antiochus, man, the Edomite. So many also of the Israelites consented. Let's go into that word, consented. It says what? Consented. They agreed permission for something to happen or agreement you see so you had israelites who agreed to the uh you had israelites that agreed okay to the um the decree of antiochus you see so many israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profane the Sabbath. So that's what made Jake, okay, turn into a heathen. Matter of fact, real quick, you know, you were Gentiles. This is the book of First Corinthians 12 and 2. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as you were led. You see, our people were led to serve dumb idols okay wood and stone like like we read in ezekiel 20 and 32 the prophecy that our people were going to have in their mind or spirit as prophecy that they were going to worship dumb idols and that's why apostle paul okay told the uh the israelite foreigners of corinth that they know that they once were gentiles okay they were carried away into these dumb idols because those Israelites who repented from having the mindset of, uh, you know, the, the image of the beast, hey, they understood history because don't you think Apostle Paul was breaking down, he was breaking down the history of why, you know, Jake became a, a Grecians, why, why Jake became a, a, a pagan, see that? So going back to the book of uh, Maccabees 143, yeah, many also of the Israelites, yeah, wicked men, consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and they profaned the Sabbath. For the king had sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land. See that? That they should follow the strange laws of the land. And that's what made our people strange. You see? And after the... Uh, it says what? It says, and forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple and that they should profane the Sabbaths and the festival days. Verse 46, and pollute the sanctuary. Yeah, that word sanctuary means the temple, man. So you had a lot of Israelites who were defiling not only the, the second temple, 
of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, but they were defiling their own temple, their spirit, and holy people. Set up altars and groves and chapels of idols, and sacrificed swine's flesh and unclean beasts. That they should also leave their children uncircumcised. Now that's a twofold uncircumcised. That's a literal, okay, according to the law, you're uh, an Israelite when he's born. Okay, after the uh, eighth day, he has to get circumcised. But spiritually speaking, okay, our forefathers, okay, they, they rather uh, leave, you know, young Jake to follow the uh, customs of, of Esau, Edom, rather than the customs of their forefathers, and that's what made them uncircumcised and make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness and profanation. You see, so that's what made our people, it says, to the end, they might forget the law and change all the ordinances. You see, that's what made Jake, okay, a, a heathen. That's what made Jake a Gentile, ethnos. See? So, Romans 3 and 29, is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also, because ultimately... Yeah, how about Shemel Shai, man? Okay, you know, whether you're the elect or non elect, hey, ultimately, okay, you know, you're going to receive the kingdom of heaven, okay? And and that's a that's a, a mercy that the Lord is going to show a lot of uh, two thirds of our people here in Babylon the Great. That's why he said, Is he not of the, uh, is he not the God of the, the Gentiles only, because according to prophecy, is Romans 12, and let me get that, Romans 12, Romans 11, Romans 11 and 26, and so, O Israel, you see, and O Israel, that goes into the Gentiles, ethnos, okay, those are uh, Jakes who who don't know any better, man. You see, and also the Jews. Circumcision and uncircumcision. And so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Yeah, and that deliverer, that's Yahweh Shai, he delivers. Or he is victory. And through Yahweh Shai, that's how the whole nation of Israel is going to receive the uh, second covenant. Which goes into the new covenant, and that's what's gonna make us turn away, okay, um, from from sin, okay, forever according, okay, to the law. For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. You see that? So the whole concept, man. Again, going back to uh, Romans three and twenty nine, man. Okay, that were ethnos. Or ethnos can sometimes mean an Israelite in proper context and history. See, so Romans 3 and 29 does not mean that it's speaking about, you know, a, a actual heathen, you know, or Edomite, uh, Moabite. You see, because the God of the Bible, he's only the God of Israel. See, he's not the God of the actual original Gentiles. This is... Psalms 106, 48, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. You see, it's not the God, okay, of, of all the nations. You see, it's the God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. And let all the people say, Aman, praise he Yahweh. Luke 168, blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. See, so who are his people? His people will always be the Israelites, the 12 tribes. Of Yahweh Shemel Shai, 1 Kings 6 13, and I will dwell among the children of Israel and will not forsake my people Israel. See, so ultimately, man, O Israel, whether you're two third or one third, okay, hey, you're still the Lord's people. Hey, but on this side, according to prophecy, you know, you know, before you know, um, we receive that uh, second covenant, man, when Yahweh Shai returns. And there has to be a judgment and prophecy, meaning two thirds of those uh, Jakes who try to uh, buckle up against prophecy and try to replace 
okay, the doctrine of Yahweh Ba Shemel Shai, they're going to have to get, okay, put to uh, shame on this side. Matter of fact, this is the book of, uh, and that's a spirit, man, because even in, uh, in, in the kingdom, man, okay, hey, there's going to be a ranking system. You're going to have, you know, you know, Jake's going to recognize Jake. You know, Jake's going to recognize, you know, who's who was the elect on this side and who was the non-elect on the other side, man. That's why when you go into Jeremiah 23 and 40, it says, And I will bring an everlasting reproach upon you and a perpetual shame, which shall not be forgotten. So even in the kingdom, you're going to have Jake. Okay, uh, you know that you know that that has the the new covenant within their minds or their heart. Okay, um, you know ultimately they will understand that they were okay. Uh, you know, a two third on this side. Okay, they're gonna know the history of what happened. You know, in uh, in Babylon the Great. Okay, Isaiah forty five and seventeen, but O Israel shall be saved in the Lord. With an everlasting salvation, it should not be ashamed or confounded. Rule without end, yeah, and that's speaking about collectively. Collectively, as a people, we will not be ashamed. We will be uh, honored. But let me get that scripture. So to everlasting shame. This is uh, Daniel twelve and two, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. So when you go into that word shame, let's get that. It says, a painful feeling of humiliation. Okay, loss to face, embarrassment, guilt. Okay, remorse. It says, uh, embarrassed, humbled. See that? So ultimately, two-thirds, and, and those jakes who are scattered amongst the heathen that ain't going to make it on the uh, on them chariots, when they come back and, you know, in the reincarnation, they will understand history. Okay, and they're going to get what? They're going to get humbled. You see? And that humbleness is going to come, okay, and, okay, as an example of, you know, lower rank. Okay, because they de elect, man, even amongst Israel, you're going to have de elect or de elect. Okay, there's, a, you know, different uh, levels of uh, uh, ranks in the kingdom. You have the 144,000, you have the, uh, you know, the, the, the one third here in, in Babylon the Great. Okay, and those who are scattered amongst the heathen that are also going to get saved by Yahweh Ba Shemel Shai. But again, you know, in the kingdom, you will have that prophecy that's going to be, be fulfilled. Okay, a lot of our people who try to replace the doctrine of, you know, trying to save Esau, that God loves everybody. Well, guess what? In the kingdom, you're going to get put to shame. Okay, you're going to understand that, hey, man, you know, um, you know, I was wrong. You know, I was wrong. Because hey, ultimately, hey, that's the will of Yahweh Ba Shemel Shai. Someone has to fulfill that prophecy of being being an everlasting shame. See that? So again, you know, just a quick, you know, uh, history on the word ethnos. Okay. And what Romans 3 and 29 means in its proper context. I pray it was edifying with that one. It says, Shalom.